it says. Okay, now it is. Okay, the question before us here is, uh, uh, Clive and Bundy does not pay his grazing fees, and so that seems to be unfair that to our other ranchers and uh, to our government uh, that he's using a, a renewable resource out here that's not being paid for. So I'm going to try to attempt to uh, answer that question. First, uh, if I did pay my grazing fees, and even if I did pay it to the United States government, do you think that you, we the people would actually uh, 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 get any good or have any, uh, would you get any part of that dollar that I paid? That seems to be, you know good and well, the bureau, bureaus would eat this up and you would never uh, see it. Uh, it would be done through, paid up through administrative uh, uh, expenses. Uh, so th let's just leave it at that. Now let's talk about who should uh, Clive and Bundy pay his grazing f fees to? Uh, I say that the United States does not own land in the state of Nevada. They do not hold title to the land in the state of Nevada, and they're not the landlords of the state of uh, the, the land in the state of Nevada. <clears throat> so I say I would be happy to pay my grazing fees if I owed grazing fees to the proper government which I would say the proper government would have to be Clark County, Nevada. And so the closest uh, government to uh, me and the, and the government over the land within the borders of Clark County would have to be Clark County government. So if I was to owe any kind of fees, it would have to be to Clark County. Uh, now let's talk about contracts. If I signed a a grazing lease or a grazing permit from the from the BLM United States government I would be signing a contract between me and the United States that contract would be valid under co the Constitution of the United States it would it would obligate me to pay the United States for what services isn't that what BLM is? Is a land manager, BLM land man, uh, contract with them, and I'm paying them. Then that's a valid contract. That's about as good a contract as you can get. That contract, because it's between me and the United States, would go to a federal court, and a federal judge would be able to rule on if either either side of us did, broke that contract somehow. So that, that's a good contract. That's a constitutional contract would have to be uh, uh, dealt with in a federal court. Okay, but what if Clive and Bundy didn't sign a contract with the United States government? And, he, and so then he says, well, I, I don't do those two things, so I, I don't recognize your range con out here. I don't recognize your ranger out here. I don't recognize your lawyers out here. I don't re recognize your judge. And you better damn sure not put me in your jail because I don't think you exist. Not in the state of Nevada. And not it within the, the, the public lands of Clark County. You do not exist. Constitutionally, if you can show me anywhere that the, the United States has any type of title to this land, I, I welcome. Show me. I'll put my whole iron ranch up for, against you. That's what I have to do. When you guys say it's uh, the last, so why wouldn't I want to put my whole ranch up uh, in the fact that I don't believe that the United States owns this land? That's not what our founding fathers had inten uh, intention for when they fought the Revolutionary War. And that's not what their intention was when they created the Constitution. They created a Constitution of w we the people. Remember who, did, who created the Constitution. It was not the United States that created the Constitution. It was we, the people of those uh, 13 in the individual nations that created the Constitution. And that they give the United States a little bit of land. No, they didn't give the United States a little bit of land. I wonder how they got some land. I wonder how they, the Constitution says they, they could have 10 miles square. I wonder how they got that. Well, I can tell you how. You, don't, you just read the Constitution, it'll tell you how they got that land. They had to get 
legislation, uh, legislature approval from, I think, three states, and they had to have the United States Const uh, uh, um, United States uh, Congress give them permission. And then let me tell you how they had to do it. The United States government had to buy that land from those ind individual states. And that 10 square miles even had other restrictions on, as, as you'll see in Article f uh, 1, Section uh, 8 and 17 of the Constitution, it'll tell you exactly what they could buy it for. What are you talking to? Yeah. I do not have a contract with the federal government, so uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I have no respect or obligation uh, for federal agencies or, their, or, or their, of their courts. Uh, I abide by all of Nevada state laws, and I'm talking about the grazing laws and the uh, water rights and access rights and uh, rights to the uh, my private property as, as range improvements. So these things are all Nevada law. And so when we start talking in a, in a foreign court, which a federal court would be a foreign court to these laws, uh, they don't have no jurisdiction or authority over this. And the judge will actually say, I don't, uh, they're just moot, moot to him. So what I'm saying is I have not had uh, my uh, uh, time in the due process within a court of competent jurisdiction. I'm talking about a Nevada state court, a competent jurisdiction that has uh, uh, power and ru uh, to rule over uh, state law. So I've never received that. Okay. And now we, we get to the point of, okay, well, why is a, a Nevada State Brand Inspector and uh, Agriculture Department, why are they participating in this seizure of my cattle? In other words, the theft of my cattle. And you, you wonder, well, why is the uh, Clark County Sheriff not saying no to the, this issue? Well, wh wh what's the reason there? Well, the, the best reason I've got is the uh, Attorney General of the state of Nevada is saying that the uh, United States uh, so District, okay. Nevada District Court, is a court of competent jurisdiction. The, the question is, 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 is that, or, is, or the, is that right or wrong? The question is, what is a court of competent jurisdiction? Is it a Nevada State uh, Court, or is it a Nevada State District Court of the United States? Which one of them is a court of competent jurisdiction? Our brand law says in our, before... Dad, they are taking Jerry's planting milk right now.